Now, all of us work and work and work, and then generally we retire. But what happens after retirement? Tonight, our senior reporter, Marie Handy, joins us to answer that question. Well, John, believe it or not, many go back to work. I understand. Tonight, our spotlight shines on Wallene Smith and every other senior citizen who has found a new and fulfilling career after retirement. Three years ago, Wallene retired from the Ethel Corporation, where she had worked as administrative and budget analyst. She put away the calculator and the accounting books and replaced them with an easel, palettes, and brushes. I just could feel the magic of the colors. Well, it's just hard to explain the feeling because the colors just went where I wanted them to go. And the day that I really called myself an artist was when Ethel Corporation bought a painting. She has already had four one-person shows and just recently introduced her new limited edition bird prints at a local art gallery. She prefers working with watercolors to oils. I watched her do a preliminary pencil and watercolor study, which she does before executing a final work. For Wallene Smith, her future looks bright in her second career. Already, some art connoisseurs in this country and in Europe have bought her paintings for their homes and offices. Now, for any of you seniors out there who might be interested in a second career, you can contact the Council on Aging in your area. Here in Baton Rouge, that number is 389-4914. They can possibly help you in getting started in a second career. And if you have something you would like us for spotlighting, do drop us a line here on Spotlight on Seniors in care of WBRZ-TV, 1650 Highland Road, Baton Rouge, 70802. John and Margaret, next week we're going to spotlight seniors helping seniors. All right, All sounds right. great. Thank, Thank you, Marie.